Hey guys, here with a new hero on Korean Lost Saga. This is known as Engineer. So hero 135, a new rare hero. So you can see this is going to be a doozy of a character. So let's check him out here. So two hit basics. Second hit will stun faint. These will lift off your faints as well. And the second hit will do a little slam down on airborne opponents. It knocks a little bit too far away from you to do many follow-ups, but it's something. It's pretty nice for a two hitter. Not too bad. Uh, so on to the main attraction with Engineer, the Hold D. Your Hold D uses your 5 meter passive bar. When you use your Hold D, you build little turrets. And these turrets automatically home in on opponents and attack them. And you, you can see these are little mini turrets right here I'm building. You can have up to 5 of these mini turrets. They don't last a uh, crazy length of time, but it's pretty, it's pretty nice. You can have out 4 consecutively pretty regularly and manage 5 once in a while. Uh, if you so choose, you can actually upgrade one turret up to three times, but however, this will use your passive meter. Your passive meter doesn't recharge, it's just used up by virtue of having these turrets out. So if I upgrade this one three times, it's going to last longer. It's going to have throw out up to three lines of missiles instead of one. And it will have a melee shield which shocks people up close. So you can see it pulses out a little shock wave there. Uh, so that's a good advantage behind doing the third turret there. Second turret, let me just show you the missiles here. So it fires out one one little stream of missiles if you have it on level one. Level two, you get two streams of missiles. Level three, you get, uh, he's a little bit too far away, here we go. You get three streams of missile and that melee protection. Like I said, that pulses out a little shock wave. So that's really, really nice to get them to level three. And a good way to use these turrets, uh, you can see they don't regularly hit grounded. If you uh, knock them on the ground, let me go ahead and knock Dev K down. So it's not going to regularly hit him on the ground. The only way it's going to hit him on the ground is if you use other uh, attacks, uh, like your um, jump attacks. We'll get to that in a little bit when we go over jump attack strategy. So let's move on for now that <laughs> we went through the crazy turret. So let's go into the dash attacks. You got a two hit dasher. Um, so pretty simple and straightforward. It will do a feint. So really nice. Really nice there. Um, you can actually follow this up if you get the faint as well, and it'll still do the, like, the lifter. And you can probably follow that up a little bit more, um, unlike the whole D. It looks like a little bit out of range again, but that looks like it might be possible if you're really on point with your timing on your dashes. So, pretty standard and straightforward uh, dash attack there. Not too bad, pretty quick faint attack there, that's pretty nice. So your jump attacks, so your jump attacks, your light Ds, you throw out these little balls in the air that float up gradually and land just beneath you where you were in the air. So these can be really nice, they do half faints. You get consecutive ones, they will hit, um, they will uh, ground someone, and it will hit grounded as well, which was, I, was what I was leading to about the uh, turrets being able to work better if you not happen to knock someone down. Uh, they, the turrets can lock on to your whole Ds, and if you have enough turrets out, you can actually do infinites. So if you have like a three hit turret out, let's go ahead and try something here. Maybe a three hit turret and a two hit turret. We're going to try that. There's that shockwave I was talking about. So we're going to knock him down and try and get these balls to work in our favor. A little bit slow there. Let's try again. Uh, come on. There we go. Just in time, but a little too far out of range there. But you get the idea, I'm not doing it too well. It'll take some practice getting used to for me and for a lot of non prodigies uh, But it can be a really great great combo system, guys, uh, once you get used to it. You gotta get used to it. So that's it for... actually, that's not it. <laughs> Pardon me. You're holding in the air. You throw out these little balls in the circle. Kind of think like Alice's jump attack, the last part of the Alice's jump attack. But it doesn't do like a feint or anything. And it hits in kind of a funny hitbox, just like Alice's jump attack. It only does like these mini flinches. It will hit grounded as well, however. So that's a little bonus behind it. That can help for crowded team fight areas. That can be pretty nice to really flinch out a lot of people and help your teammates out. So defensive skills, pretty much your armor is used as a defensive kind of thing. I'm not going to show that though. And you have a deflect, which I always seem to have troubles with on crunch time. But you can see, I can... There we go. Deflect. Deflect. Uh, I'm going to get like three in a row, guys. Okay, maybe not. You get the idea, though. I'm, I'm not going to spend all day trying to deflect a damn robot. 
<laughs> getting a little salty. So let's move on to the weapon skill. Weapon skill is very unique. Uh, if you press your D light key just lightly, you'll fire up these little missiles just like your turrets. And it'll last a long time. You can see it has a little passive bar to it as well when you do this. So it has an ammo count when you use your weapon skill. Your uh, light attacks only use about 10 meter of the passive. Your hold D attacks will continuously discharge it. A fire out a massive laser beam that faints people, so that can be pretty nice. Uh, your jump attack key will fire out these homing rockets, which will hit grounded. Can be pretty nice, just like heavy crashers trinket. So that's pretty nice there. I forgot how much the passive there costs. I don't know why I'm using the turret there. So it uses 20 meter of your passive if you use the homing rockets. And your block button puts out a little pulse uh, shock wave that does shock kind of like um, uh, Stormtrooper's armor, Space Trooper's armor. So that can be pretty nice to keep you safe if anyone's coming at you. So yeah, pretty good stuff there. So moving on to the armor skill. Armor skill, you put on this little time thing. If you let it, if you take it off prior to it exploding, it's just gonna keep with the cooldown where it's at. If you can see the cooldown ticks down, and you explode. So that's kind of an older armor, so some people should be pretty familiar with it. Helmet, throw out two little time bombs. Pretty neat. They both explode gradually. Uh, if you stick two on at a time, it's just gonna do one explosion. So hold on to one if you latch one on, and then follow it up with another one. <laughs> I just completely messed it up there, but the idea there is to stick it on, but sometimes you can catch it if you throw it out on the ground. Uh, your trinket, very nice trinket there. Uh, you can put a little homing trinket down, and it'll hit people jumping around you, uh, but they can't block it. But it is nice to set up a lot of uh, neat combos, so it's pretty effective. It's pretty effective. I've seen some people with pretty high cooldown on it get some easy free skills off of it, so yeah, pretty cool. So that'll do it for Engineer here, guys. Uh, what can you say? This mechanic is really crazy. Uh, build up a few turrets. Maybe do two turrets at two, at two uh, build. And then do your one turret over here or something. And then maybe you can go into like some jump attacks. And, uh, you know, just do some crazy stuff. Keep them pinned down by all this. Here we go. Ah, dropped it a little bit there. So yeah, the turrets will do a great job at hitting ground as long as you can get these... Um, balls out on time and so <laughs> you can do some amazing stuff with this character and you know even without the turrets he can use this these little orbs here to do some crazy stuff and really cause some chaos on the battlefield uh, you know build some build a bunch of one turrets if you like you know they don't last as long however but you know they can be just as good as the big ones maybe build yourself one two one and then build a bunch of small ones to really maintain area control that would be pretty good there. <laughs> you can see there's a lot of applications behind this character that can be nice. And uh, one thing I didn't show about the whole D is you can actually throw out your turrets, swap to another character, and just go nuts with like that. Have a character with like a guard breaker or something. And when you swap back, guess what? Your your passive charge is there. If your turrets deplete, your passive charge is back even if you swap back. There's no charging on this character. His turrets are always available, so you can do some nice stuff. <laughs> it's just really, really crazy. Really, really crazy. So, you know, you lose your turrets, swap back to the character, build them, go into something else if you like. Just do some nuts kind of thing, kind of things, guys. I'm, in, I'm like stammering all over my words here just in all of this thing. So, it is a great character. You know, the melee is nothing to scoff at. The melee is good, the jump attacks are good. Having a deflect is always useful, so he can still the, the initiative. He's got a pretty great dash attack that can really surprise people. What can you say? This character is <laughs> just over the top crazy. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time.